I need you. Let me get out of here. Oh. How are we going this morning? It is nice and early out here in Byron Bay. I don't know if you can hear the music. It's pretty sweet. Oh, there's the plane. We like, should go for a little walk. How's that? So. Well, as you probably have seen on the, there's a plane, on the video title, you know what I'm doing today. Today I want to talk about fear because, right, we'll have fear and we always, we all are afraid of something and we don't want to, we're afraid of crossing that boundary and the important thing, I guess, an important thing that I read a little while ago was there are only two real fears in life. It's fear of really, really big heights and, and a fear of really loud noise. And it's because as human beings, we're programmed to survive and we can't really do much about that. You know, when it's a loud noise, we can't really control it. And when it's like really high, high, we can't really do much about it either. So today, <laughs> this wonderful day and hopefully the nature, the weather, this beautiful sky at the back will let us do that today I'm gonna to be facing and addressing one of them <laughs> and I'm very excited and slightly nervous and stuff as well it'll be my first time so yeah hope that goes all the video and stuff like that I can't obviously record while I'm doing it but I have like a little video thing that's coming and I guess another thing to remember is that whether we want Sometimes we're afraid of stuff because of something that triggered it, something that happened in the past. And in a way, we're becoming survivors or victims of moments in history. And what I want you to try and become, not just survivors or victims, but actually winners. Like actually addressing that fear, whatever you're afraid of. Like, I mean, I'm afraid of different things as well. And like I know I'm only human right and like everyone's afraid of something but the more you try to address it and the more you try to force yourself out of your way to face your fears to do those big challenges that you are, might be afraid of the more you're gonna be I guess fulfilled in your life and the more you'd be satisfied I don't know if it's the right wording for it but I think I think personally for me it would like kind of gives me every time I accomplish some kind of like challenge that I thought would be like really challenging. I just, I don't know, you get like this feeling of accomplishment and you just like kind of, I don't know, get happy about it and kind of have more confidence in yourself that you're able to do X, Y and Z, right? And we want that. Good morning, welcome to Skydive Byron Bay. Now check that out, there's some parachutes landing. That's gonna be us in about 20 minutes. How are you feeling about it? Exactly. Yeah, you're ready for this. You look confident, I like it. Before we go, would you like to say hello to anybody? Your family, your friends, maybe at home? Face your fears. Face your fears, let's do it. Big thumbs up, let's have some fun and jump out of a plane. <laughs>
put him around your neck. Are you sure? Yeah, he's okay. Then, if you can remember, if you jump it up, you can start up and go. Woohoo! You're flying! Now it's making a joke, I'll just run down like this and this way. Woo! Yeah, the other way, let's jump it up and put the left one down. Okay, welcome back to Planet Earth. How good was that? <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Would you do that again one day? Yeah. Yeah. Put it a high five. Thank you so much for joining me, Scott Up Iron Bay. I'm glad you had fun. And I'll see you later. One more photo. Woo! Bye. <laughs>